In this video, we will try to understand the design of keys. So, let us try to understand the design of rectangular sunk key, which is shown over here. So, as you can see over here, this is the width of the key, this is the length of the key, and this is depth or thickness of the key. As we know that key is used for temporary fastening of shaft and hollow hub or muff. Now here we have shown the solid shaft and hollow hub. So this particular shaft is having this external keyway and half of the external keyway that is the internal keyway is made in this particular hollow part which is known as hub or muff. Now we have inserted the key in this particular slot or the passage which is formed so that it will connect this shaft with this hub. As you can see over here, this is the tangential force which is applied when the shaft will rotate or when the shaft starts rotating. This is the radius. So this force multiplied by this radius is nothing but the torque which is exerted on this particular shaft. So as you can see over here, the shaft, key and hub they are acting as a one unit and therefore all of them they are subjected to the same torque that is force into radius that is F into D upon 2. Because of this particular tangential force, the shear of the key will take place at this particular junction of the two materials, that is shaft material and hub material. For the sake of simplicity, we have converted this particular key in three-dimensional form. Half of the key is shown in the shaft and half of the key is shown in the hub over here. Because of this tangential force, there will be shear that will take place. And as the shear takes place, this is the area which is resisting the shear. So you can see that this is the width and this is the length. So W into L, that will be the area which is resisting shear over here. Similarly, the another failure that will take place because of the torque. So just now we have seen that torque is nothing but force into radius. Because of this particular torque, this portion of the key which is present in the hub will get crushed or there will be a localized compression. Localized compression is known as crushing. So the resistance will be provided by this particular, the material at the junction of this shaft and hub and therefore torque will act in this particular direction so it will get pressed from this particular top similarly the junction will be offered the resistance will be offered at the junction in the upper direction and therefore this will be the portion which will get crushed so the area is nothing but the length into t by 2 so the area resisting crushing or compression will be l into t by 2 So first we consider the shear failure. So torque is nothing but tangential force into radius. So that is nothing but F into D by 2. So force is nothing but stress into area. So as we are considering shear failure, it is shear stress into area resisting shear into radius. So substitute these values. In place of force, it is stress into area. And as we are considering shear failure, we have taken into consideration shear stress into area resisting shear. So shear stress is nothing but tau and the area resisting shear is nothing but L into W and radius is nothing but D upon 2. So our first equation that we have obtained is torque is equal to tau into L into W into D by 2. Similarly, if you consider the crushing failure, then also we can write down the similar expression over here. So torque is equal to, again, it will be tangential force multiplied by radius. So again, it is F into D by 2. Now here, force is stress into area, but as we are considering crushing failure, it will be crushing stress into area resisting crushing. So crushing stress is sigma c and area resisting crushing is L into D by 2 and radius is D by 2. So this is our second equation. So we can say that in the design of key, 
there are two types of the failure one is the shear failure and another one is the crushing failure now we'll take into consideration the square key now for the square key to be equally strong in shear as well as in crushing we'll consider both these equations that is considering the shear failure and second equation is that of the crushing failure we want the strength of the key to be same in both shear as well as crushing and therefore we we'll have to equate these two equations so we'll equate the right hand side of this equation because left hand side is same so just equate this rhs of these two equations will cancel out length from both the side similarly radius that is d by 2 term from both the side so that we can have this particular tau into w is equal to sigma c into d by 2 just cross multiply by this 2 over here so it is 2 into tau into w is equal to sigma c into t or transfer this t on this side so it is 2 into tau into w divided by t now for the square key width and the thickness they are same so we can cancel out this particular term so we'll get sigma c is equal to 2 times tau in other words for square key to be equally strong in shear as well as crushing the crushing stress must be 2 times the shear stress